So I'm in a peer mastermind and this week we were trying to coordinate a time to get on Zoom that would work for everyone. Now, normally this would involve tons of emails back and forth, trying to figure out a time that works for everyone. That is until we use the tool Doodle. And I realized that I had never made a video about this tool, so that's what I'm going to show you how to use in today's video. It's going to make coordinating meetings. Anytime there's more than two people, this is what you're going to want to use. It's going to cut down on unnecessary emails, save you a lot of time and make the entire thing much more seamless. Now you might notice that my background is a little different. That is because I am road tripping around Panama, but of course I still wanted to post a video for you. I am at the beautiful Bocas del Toro, which is a island here in Panama. It's beautiful and I highly recommend you come and visit here when you hopefully visit Panama. So you're going to go to doodle.com and I love what they say here. Never send another when can you meet email again. That is the main point of this tool. So you're going to scroll up and click start free trial. And from here, you're just going to register by typing in your full name, email, and create a password. After this, you will need to verify your email. So open up the email that they have sent you and click verify email. So they will start you off with a free 14 day trial of the premium version, but there is a totally free version, which I'm going to demo how to use in this video as well. So you can connect to your calendar, but I'm just going to click skip for now. Okay, great. So I'm going to demo as though you just want to stick with the free account forever. So if you want to do that, you're going to click create meeting, and then you're just going to type in the title of your event. So in this example, I'm going to do peer mastermind. And then for location, I'm just going to select zoom from the drop down menu. If you are using the free plan, you are unable to include links in the location area. So we will send that to our participants after. All right, now I'm going to add a note. I'm just going to say, check the times that work for you and hit continue. Okay, so again, I'm just going to click later on this and I'm going to manually select some times that work best for me. So all you have to do is literally click on the calendar and it will add in hour long blocks. Okay, so I'm going to do those few times there and I'm going to add a few more to give people some different options and then click continue. Great. Now from here, you'll see some additional poll settings. So you can go through these and determine if any of those would be helpful for you. But for now, I'm just going to keep it blank and hit finish. Okay, great. So my doodle has been created. First things first, scroll down and you'll see what it's going to look like for people when they open this link. But you do want to confirm the times that work for you. So just go down here and then check all the times. This is kind of doubling up on what we just did, but that's all right. So once you do that, hit send. And so now on the free version, what I would just do is provide them with the link. So you can click this link here, copy that, and then share that link with everyone in your group. So when they click that link, this is what it will look like. So they'll see the location, they'll see the note that you left for them, and then they'll see the times that work for you. So all they need to do is go ahead and enter in their name. So let's say that my team member Neve is doing this. She's going to type in her name and then check all the times that work for her. Perfect. Once she does that, she's going to hit send. Okay, and then let's say that my team member Taylor is also part of this. She's going to scroll down, type in her name, and then check the times that work for her and then hit send. Okay, great. So then for you, when you log back into Doodle, this is what you are going to see. So you'll be able to easily see which times work best for everyone. So scroll up and then click choose final option. And then you're just going to star the time that you want it to be. Perfect. And hit done. 
Now on the free plan, you're not able to include links here in the email. So rather than sharing results this way, I would just go into your regular email and send out an email letting them know what time the meeting or mastermind is going to be and then include your Zoom link there. Whenever I'm doing something like this, I just use my personal meeting room link on Zoom. So if you open up Zoom, you'll see show meeting invitation. And then I just copy that link there and I have it set up so that I have a waiting room and I can accept people in that way when I'm ready. Okay, so you'll send out the email. You've now picked a time and you didn't have to send all these emails back and forth trying to figure out a time that worked for everyone. Now let's say that you did want to use the premium plan. So the process would be the same. You would open it up, click create meeting, and then fill in the title. But because you're on the premium plan, you can actually include your Zoom link right here in the location. Okay, so if you're on the premium, then this would totally work. Again, you'll let them know to check whichever times work for them. Set the times on your calendar. And you could use any of these premium poll settings if you need. Okay, so if you are on the premium, you can go ahead and enter emails here after you've checked the times that work for you, of course. So you're going to hit send. And this email bar actually will work on the free plan as well. So if you want to use this, you absolutely can. Okay, so they will receive an email as a participant that looks like this. Then they would just scroll down, click show more, and they can actually select the times that work for them right within the email, which is definitely very cool. So they will just check off those times and enter in their name up here. Or of course they could just click view on doodle. And if they do that, it will open up this screen here. But yeah, I love that they can just select it right within the email and then click send. Again, you will open this up, click choose final option and select the one which is best for everyone. So then because you are on the premium version, you can actually just use this feature here. So if you click enter emails, it will say participated and it will automatically bring in everyone's email that participated. And then you can change this message here. And if you are on premium, then you can include the Zoom link. So that is it. That is how you use Doodle, both if you want to use the free plan and the premium. I hope you absolutely love this tool. If it was a brand new discovery for you, let me know in the comments down below. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope that you find this tool really helpful going forward anytime you need to coordinate a meeting. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you soon with another video. Bye.